everybody. We're going to read another teddy bear tale and today it's called The Wish. Late one night, high up in the attic, a lonely little teddy bear sat and looked out of the window at the night sky. The teddy bear had been sitting in the attic for a long time. It had been a very long time since this bear had played with anyone. The children had all grown up long ago and did not have time for a teddy bear anymore. Tonight there was a bright star twinkling in the sky and as he watched it, the little bear made a wish. He closed his eyes and crossed his paws and said, Starlight, star bright, grant me your wish tonight. Let me have someone to play with, please. I don't suppose it will work, little Ted thought, as he sat gazing at the star. But you never know. The next morning, the little bear heard lots of noises. There was much banging about and footsteps on the stairs coming up the attic. Oh dear, what's happening, wondered little Ted, as someone came into the room. All the old toys and games were being packed into boxes. Little Ted was put in a big box with the jigsaws and some old alphabet bricks. It's very dark in this box, he thought, as the big box was taken downstairs. I wonder where I'm going. There was lots of jiggling up and down and thumping and scraping. At last, the box stopped moving and everything was quiet. Little Ted peeked out the top of the box. He was not in the house anymore. The box was on a table in the biggest room he'd ever seen. Soon lots of people came into the room. They were chatting and laughing as they unpacked the bags and the boxes. As they sorted things out, they were put on one of the tables. Each table had different things on it. One had lots of clothes, another had books and CDs and tapes. Little Ted was put with other toys and games on a table next to the stall selling tea, coffee, scones and cakes. Little Ted nudged the little elephant who was sitting next to him and whispered, Do you know where we are? We are in a hall and this is a jumble sale. I heard the man on the cake stall say so, the elephant replied. I think they're going to sell us. The jumble sale opened at two o'clock with lots of people rushing in to see what bargains they could find. Little Ted could not count them all. I'd like a nice new little boy or girl to play with, the elephant said. Me too, little Ted said, sitting up straight and smiling now at everyone who came to the table. A nice old lady bought the elephant for her grandson. Bye-bye, said the elephant, waving from the bag that she put him in, and good luck. All afternoon, things were bought off little Ted's stall. Everything except little Ted. Maybe no one wants an old bear like me, thought little Ted, getting worried. He barely noticed the little fingers reaching out for him as two little hands came up the tabletop. The little hands belonged to a boy who lifted little Ted down and stared at him for a long time. Little Ted was so surprised that he forgot to smile and just stared back. Then slowly the boy began to smile. Then little Ted began to smile and soon they were both grinning from ear to ear. He likes me, he likes me, oh please let him buy me, little Ted wished as the boy looked at him once more. That will be 50 cents please, said the stall holder to the boy. Oh, but I don't have that much, the boy replied. Oh, he'll never want me now, thought little Ted. The boy stopped smiling and looked sad as he started to walk away from the stall. The boy stopped and turned round to the stall holder who looked at the little boy and then at little Ted. It was late and all the stalls were packing up. It was time to go home. Well, I suppose this bear is a bit old for 50 cents. How much money have you got? Not enough, said the boy sadly, counting his cents onto the table. I think that just might be enough for an old bear like this, said the stall holder to the boy. Thank you, grinned the boy as he stuffed little Ted into his backpack and ran over to the door where his mum was waiting for him. What have you got there? she asked. 
my new teddy bear, he said proudly. The little boy took Ted home and pulled him out of his bag. We'll have lots of fun together, just you and me, said the boy with a grin, and we'll start right now. Then off they went to play. Little Ted went everywhere with him, joining in all the games, having some tea, and getting a bit splashed when he almost fell in the bath. Then, in his pyjamas, and very sleepy, the boy took little Ted upstairs to bed. Snuggling under the covers, he was soon fast asleep with little Ted beside him. As night fell, the stars came out and shone through the bedroom window. Little Ted saw the same twinkling star he had wished on. Thank you, star, little Ted smiled, for giving me a friend to play with and making my wish come true. Wasn't that a lovely story? So tonight you can look out of your window and wish upon a star. Bye-bye, everybody.